they're injured, they're not dead. How do we get them out while we're still searching a large school, a large facility like we see here? Behind me, a mock scenario of a real life situation where if someone walks into a school and starts shooting, and here in Clay County, officials say if that event were to happen, they'll be prepared. This will let us evaluate uh, how our uh, patrol function works, how our SWAT function works with these other entities. In this training exercise, armed suspects enter the front office of Keystone Heights High School and shoot several people. They stop short of a school resource officer before that officer is shot and they continue on through the school. SWAT team members enter the building and other local agencies assist to bring down the shooter or shooters. And if a real shooting were taking place, other law enforcement agencies like Alachua, Putnam and St. John Sheriff officers would all respond. You know, we all hope that events like this never occur in any community within Florida um, or anywhere else for that matter in the United States. But if they do occur and when they do occur, uh, communication pre-planning is always paramount. Clay County says it's a good opportunity to train with law enforcement, fire officials, and the school in what to do during these events. Clay County school officials say the best thing parents can do in this situation is to stay calm. Added anxiety causes um, the situation to become even more difficult. And that's why downloading mobile apps from the schools can also help keep parents informed. That'll give you not just crisis updates, but just routine updates about what's happening in your child's life. Clay County school officials also say training exercises like this will help make their district even stronger. We're preparing um, and doing all those steps will be one of the best prepared districts in the nation for this and hope and pray that it never happens. Reporting in Keystone Heights, Alicia Tarrenkhan, GTN News.